All right, guys, you may or may not know me. I just wanted to tell you why I did it. So why did I unfollow everyone on Instagram? I'm doing Instagram now since one year. Of course, that's a new account that I kind of opened up. I invested so much time in Instagram. I uploaded every day one reel. So my like lifestyle, day in the life kind of videos. Um, so I kind of created content every day. Also post a lot of pictures, stories. Like I invested a lot of time last year in Instagram. And, and now I reach a certain level where I have a lot of people that follow me. I realized, okay, you know what? That's not good for me. Like I'm running my own business, right? So I have to put my whole focus on my business. How can I look at other people's story and say, oh my God, she's drinking there. Oh, he's on vacation. Oh, he's, I don't know, doing some funny stuff. Ha ha ha. How can I do it? How can I look myself in the mirror and say, you know what, Shrek, that's who you want to become, right? A person who achieved everything, self-made. No matter what, I built my own thing. I'm a grown man. All these high virtues that I have and all this passion that I have. I have so much, so much passion. It's unbelievable how many ideas I have and business that and kind of visions and all that. And then I look myself in the mirror and say, you know what? You're wasting a bunch of opportunities, a bunch of potential here. So me not watching any of, I don't care if it's friends, family, stories, that's not because I don't like them. Like I love everyone, you know, I have a close, a very close circle around me and everyone I know in that circle, I just know no matter what, I can call them right away. But the problem on social media is you just post something and you get hundreds of likes, thousands of likes, you know? So who cares? Do you really count all these likes and say, oh my God, he really likes me. You, it's just a button. If you look at the documentary on Netflix, I think it's called Social Dilemma, or you read that book, Digital Minimalism by Carl Newport, which is pretty good. I also did a recommendation video. Uh, I will link you that down below. If you look at that and kind of get behind the psychology of social media, you will realize, okay, that they do everything to keep you on that app as much as possible. So you spend your whole day, even that's their goal, to spend your whole time on there because the more time you spend on that app, the more money they make through advertising and all collecting all that data and all that. So realizing that for me, is just, I'm not a consumer. I want to create over consume every time, no matter what I do in life. I always think about that sentence. I'm going to repeat myself here, create over consume. And that means for me, okay, I can't waste my whole day watching stuff. And of course, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's friends, but sometimes to be honest, it's people you don't care about, right? So you just have them because, oh, he follows me. I have to follow him back because I know him from there and there. And if I don't follow him back, I might be arrogant and I'm s whatever, you know? So you follow him back, then you watch his things and then you realize, okay, man, I feel so bad right now. What's happening with me? And that's what I realized. I mean, social media has no beneficial for me. It's nothing of it. It's, I don't even do it anymore. Of course I have my account and once in a while I try to inspire people. That's what I like, you know, to inspire people. I don't want to be like the one guy who likes, oh, look at my watch, look at that car that I bought. Look how good my agency is running. I want to inspire people, you know, I want to, my goal is to help another person to build everything that I built on my own as well. It's possible nowadays. It is possible. I want to inspire everyone with that. So that's my goal. But most of the people on social media are just fake. And of course, I don't want to say I'm real. Of course, certain things are, are fake as well in a certain way, because I will never show myself crying on social media, right? Or I would never show myself being so broke. I can't even like go out and buy water, for example, right? So people are only showing their good faces, the person they want to be on social media. And everyone does that because you don't want to like be emotional and like put your secrets up there, right? So try to keep that in mind. If you watch all these cool pictures and nice cars, watches, this, that, vacations, that's cool. And if you're happy for someone, that's even better. But sometimes you just feel bad and you think, okay, why is my life so miserable? You know, there were certain times in my life where I had so much things to do and was like didn't even gain any money of it so i worked so much invested so much busy all the time and then you come home 
or you're even home because you're working and then you just check your phone and you're on Instagram and then you see someone where you think he didn't put any effort in anything and just get everything handed, handed down, you know? So just like the big vacation, cars, this. And I was like, bro, why is life so unfair? And that's, that's something where I said, okay, you know what? First of all, I'm thinking wrong. You think it's unfair, but honestly, I want it that way. I want to build something out of scratch. I want to like be at a very deep spot. I want to go through a lot of struggles, adversities. You know, some people say you have to know the dark in order to know the light. And I think so as well. If you've never been in a very dark spot where you had nothing, you know, and came out of that because of yourself, because you made it happen and not someone you know, that builds your character. And that builds, people, people ask myself, okay, how can you be confident? How can you do that? How, how can you do all, the, all this kind of stuff? It's by working. It's just by working. You just, you can't fake it. Things like that, you can't fake that. You have to outwalk everyone alone. You have to be alone at your home all day. Some people think, okay, yeah, living the life, oh, CEO, own agency, traveling the world, yeah, so much money. But you have to, in order to achieve and enjoy everything, you have to be at a very dark spot. You have to have nothing. You have to make a lot of, not failures, because I think it's not a failure, but it's more like a lesson. You have to go through a lot of lessons and then there comes the spot. I talk about it very often. It's called the value of disappointment. And there's a certain spot. There's like all this stuff and then you kind of achieve something. So you have a bit of a success and then everything breaks down, you know, and you fell to a very low point, even lower than the beginning, even though you can say, okay, um, from there on, it can only go up, but even a lower point. So let's say you lose everything. Okay. And not only money, everything, like no matter what, you lose a lot of stuff and then you are at a very dark point, you're at a very low point in your life and that point will either make or break you. You will definitely change as a person, but you can decide. In that moment, you can decide, okay, do I feel sorry for myself and get miserable, even depressed and say, oh, everything happens to me, I got all these adversities, stuff, this, that. Or can you say, you know what? That's me, man. I will come out of that even stronger. I'm becoming the man I always wanted to become because I went through all that struggle, right? Like David Goggins, people think, oh, he's unbreakable. He's even called the toughest man alive, you know? But he went through so much pain, suffering, everything, you know? But he said he wanted that way. If he would never go through all that suffering, he would never become the person and the strong person he is right now. How can you if you never really suffered or went through a lot of adversity how can you be sure that if something occurs you can really withstand it and even grow out of it that's not possible in my opinion so yeah change your perspective don't want to go too deep into that but change your perspective and try to focus every time on yourself become the best version of yourself compare yourself with the person you were yesterday and not with some other guy or girl that's your only goal in mind become better than yesterday every day and from there on you will just add up, add up, add up and you're gonna succeed with everything. So try to focus on yourself. Of course, be an inspiration and don't, don't just go your way, head down and focus. Try to inspire people around you because success is nothing if you can't share it with somebody. So inspire people around you, be the best version of yourself. That's it for me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, of course you can, but um, that's not the goal here. That's it for me. Focus on yourself, guys, and build your successful business. If it's a social media marketing agency, whatever kind of business you're doing. And to all that social media marketing agencies, if you want to take your business to the next level, click the link down below and book a call with me. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notifications so you won't miss out on any new stuff that's on here. And that's it from me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.